Hello to the class of 2020. What a great group of graduates you are. You've experienced also lately, I know, a lot of losses. We adults are all sorry about your disappointment and your sadness. But I'll bet that 20 years from now, you will be sitting around talking about the 2019 murderous pandemic. But on this happy occasion of your graduation, let's remember all who cared for you, for all of the responders, for all of your friends, your classmates, your wonderful parents, all those who have helped form you the way you are and have loved you. Let's thank them all for giving good leadership and example to the newest graduates entering college or the workforce. Recently, I've been thinking of all of our volunteers, those who have helped many of you here at St. Rosa of Lima through your early years, your middle school years, now your high school. I hope you've enjoyed it and that we left a positive remark on you. I've also thought of all of our coaches, our basketball coaches, our volleyball coaches, our life coaches, people like Mrs. McGoldrick, Mr. Stephen Lavoie, our youth minister, all those who've worked so hard to show you God's love and to bring you along on your journey through life to graduation. All of you are awesome, an awesome crowd. You're filled with joy, you're filled with strength, new ideas, lots of excitement, dedication, a strength, energy. There's so much to say about all of you. And I have a strong feeling that you're gonna be invited and encouraged to use all of those qualities and all of those gifts to fix a very broken world. Despite the joy of Sunday and your graduation, there's a lot of pain, a lot of disaster, a lot of war, a lot of negativity in our world. It's new, new now for us again is to live through an end to racism. And that's certainly something that every single one of us should do and should be proud to do it in the name of our great country. None of us want to ever bet against America. And I'm sure with your help and your guidance and your energy that we will move forward in a very positive direction. I love always to quote Anne Frank because she had a lot of losses too, just like you. She had the loss of life. She wrote this, in spite of everything, I still believe that people are really good at heart. I simply can't believe my hopes on a foundation consisting of confusion, misery, and death. I see the world gradually being turned into a wilderness. I hear the ever approaching thunder, which will de destroy us too. I can feel the suffering of millions. And yet, if I look up into the heavens, I think we'll all come right, that this cruelty too will end and that peace and tranquility will return again. I share each of you a blessing and a future full of hope. I encourage you to open your heart and discover all the goodness and all the love and all the gifts that you carry there in that heart. But it's not all for you. As you know, a gift is a gift until it's given away, but it's for all. Well, God bless you as you move on in your life. We ask that you keep in touch. Know that you are dear to God and that God loves each one of you more than you can imagine. So do we here at St. Rosa Lima. So congratulations.